Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make yummy sweet potato fries. Oh yeah, I have a couple other french fry videos here on my channel. One, just like a classic french fry and also a air fryer french fry. And now I'm going to do sweet potato french fries. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Begin with two or three sweet potatoes, depending on how many people you want to serve. Each sweet potato will roughly make enough for one person, maybe depending on the size, so maybe one and a half per person. And what we want to do is make sure to wash and dry the outside of it. And then we are going to just peel our sweet potato. And make sure your hands are clean because you will be touching the outside of the sweet potato. All right, and then you can just compost or just throw away those skins. And now I'm just going to cut off the ends here. And then we want to cut these into fry shapes. And then the, the thinner you make them, the crispier the fries will get. And you want to make them kind of the right, the same size, as close to as possible. So for some of these, I might just go in half again. And when they're near the same size, then they will just, it'll just help them to cook more even. And then I have a bowl here with water and a bit of salt, cold water, and we want to put these in there and let them soak. And that's going to help draw out the starch. If you watch my other French fry videos, you notice I do the same thing in those videos as well. And then once you have the strips of sweet potato inside the bowl of cold water, cold salty water, then we're just let this sit for about 30 minutes. And again, that's gonna help bring out the starch. It's not, this step is not necessary, but it helps to make them more crispy when we bake them. Once the sweet potato fries have soaked in the water, what I want to do is I'm going to just drain the water. And then we want to dry the fries and I'm just going to take some paper towel and you can use just like normal towels if you don't want to use paper towels. And then let's just dry these really well. And then with the dried ones, I'm just going to take another bowl and put these in there. And now I just have a little bowl here. And I'm going to add about a fourth of a teaspoon of black ground pepper, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of salt. And you can adjust those according to your taste. And you could just use the salt if you want. I'll just give that a good mix here. Okay, and then also I have about two to three tablespoons of cornstarch. And this is going to help the sweet potato fries get more crispy. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of olive oil and just drizzle that over the sweet potato fries. I'm going to take my seasonings and we'll just put that in there as well. And then we'll take the cornstarch. Put that in there as well. And then I just have this lid here. I'm gonna just put that on and we're gonna shake it really well. You could also do that all in like a Ziploc bag. All right. And these are nice and coated really well. Awesome. And now I have a sheet pan here lined with parchment paper. And then I'm going to just take these 
and spread them out. Make sure they're not touching. Put like a, a half of an inch or a quarter of an inch in between them. And we will just lay these out. Again, use clean hands if you're gonna to be touching these. All right, like so. And then if you need to do another sheet pan, you can. And then we want to bake these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 Celsius. And we're gonna bake these first for about 10 minutes. And then we will flip them or turn them over and then bake them again for another 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. All right, so in the oven it goes. And then on this one, I'm gonna do a silicone mat. It, they don't turn out as crispy, I don't think, on a silicone mat, but if you don't wanna use parchment paper, you can certainly use a silicone mat as well. And then just keep in mind that if you're gonna bake both of these trays or bo both of these sheet pans in the oven at the same time, that you'll wanna rotate them. Move them from the different racks to the other rack and also rotate them inside the oven from like horizontal to vertical in the oven. And that will just help these bake as evenly as possible. And then into the oven these go. And when they come out of the oven, they will look something like this. Now you can bake them a little bit longer if you want, if you want to get them more caramelized or more brown, but I decided to take them out now because the ends were starting to get uh, a little burnt. And so there you go. They look really good. And then you can just start to eat them if you want. Look at that. Dip it in some ketchup. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. A nice crisp outer layer nice and soft in the middle really really good and then I just have them on this plate with some ketchup in the middle ready to serve there you go some really yummy super easy to make sweet potato fries if I can do it you can do it I'm Matt Taylor this has been another episode of in the kitchen with Matt thank you for joining me as always if you have any questions comments or requests put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. So good.